so i hope that you all had enough time to read the question so we will get into the discussion now according to the question this given company produces only two goods on one side we see what automobiles and on the other side they produce what electronics so these are the two goods and now what happens they need to increase the production of automobiles gradually up to 5 units in total and when that happens i mean when they increase the production of automobiles gradually by 1 unit they sacrifice 2 units then again 4 units 6 units then 8 units and finally 10 units from electronics from the production of electronics so the requirement of the question is to present this given scenario using a ppc but we have little issue here the issue is to construct the ppc we need to have the relevant coordinates for the two goods the production of automobiles when when that is zero what's the total production of electronics and when the production of automobiles is just one unit how much is the total production of electronics we need those values but in this question we don't see that directly so it's up to us to find those values the coordinates required to the ppc and later on you can construct the ppc so as a start let me develop a small table and in this table we can write the production of automobiles we can write the values related to the production of automobiles and electronics so let me take the automobiles to this side and electronics to the other side electronics right now the automobile production increases gradually from 0 to 5 0 1 2 3 4 and then finally 5 so let me divide this right so this is the table now what happens they say when they increase the automobile production initially from 0 to 1 you sacrifice two units of electronics but do you know the total amount of electronics that you produce right now not for the time being and that's not given but what we know when they increase the production by one unit they sacrifice the production of electronics by two units and then again when they increase the automobile production from one more unit when they move from unit 1 to unit 2 again they sacrifice how much they sacrifice four units of electronics and again the automobile production increases by one unit and this time they sacrifice six units from electronics next they increase the automobile production from 3 to 4 again by one unit exactly by one unit and then again the production of what electronics decreases by 8 finally when they increase the production of automobiles by one more unit and when they produce five automobiles what happens they sacrifice 10 units of electronics right they sacrifice 10 units of electronics the problem here these values represent how much you sacrifice from electronics just to increase the production of automobiles by one more unit and you can consider these pairs as coordinates when constructing the ppc right so my question is think in this way if this given producer do not produce any of the automobiles if the production of automobiles is zero how much they could produce from electronics how much they could produce from electronics to find that i mean to find this value the value that comes inside this cell we can add all these values that we sacrifice in each scenario so when you get the total of all these values 
it will give you the summation 30. See that now. The total amount of electronics that they have sacrificed in order to produce automobiles will be 30. So that's all they had in the electronic sector, right? The total production they had was 30. So we can write that 30 here. Let me use the other color pen. So that's 30. If they do not produce anything from automobiles, they could produce 30 units of electronics. And from now onwards, you can just find the total production of electronics, which is relevant to each of these values coming under automobiles. Now, for example, when they produce one unit of automobile, the question says that they sacrifice two units of electronics. So that the total production of electronics will be how much then? 28. Because they sacrifice two units of electronics to increase the production of automobiles by one. Next one. Right? This time, to increase the production of automobiles by one more unit, they sacrifice four units of electronics. So what does that mean? Now the total production of electronics will be 24. Next, they again increase the automobile production by one more unit, but this time they sacrifice how much? They sacrifice six units of electronics. So that will give you the total of 18. 24 minus 6, that will be 18. Now, they increase the automobile production from 3 to 4, and as a result, they sacrifice the production of electronics by 8 units. So the total production of electronics will be limited to 10 this time. And finally, what happens from their total of resources, from all available resources, they produce 5 units of automobiles. And as a result, they will not be able to produce any. The reason, the question says, when they increase the automobile production by one more unit from 4 to 5, they sacrifice what, how much? They sacrifice 10 units of electronics. So this 10 minus the minus the amount that they sacrifice, that is again 10. So 10 minus 10 will be how much? That will be 0. Right? So that will be 0. And this is the production possibilities table relevant to this question. Right? Here we have developed what? The production possibilities table relevant to the question. Now you can answer to the question. Why? Because the question asks you, to present this given scenario using a PPC and you have the relevant table and this time we can construct the PPC. So how do you do that? The question doesn't ask us to take a particular product to any specific axis so that you have the freedom to decide it. So in my case, I will take automobiles to the x-axis, right? Automobiles to the x-axis and I'll take what? Electronics to the y-axis, right? Electronics to the y-axis. So this one, I'll take the scale from 0 to 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and here this will be from 0 to 30, right? This will be from 0 to 30 and what do I do next? I will take these values as coordinates. When the production of automobiles is zero, the production of electronics will be 30. So when the production production of automobiles is zero, electronic production is 30. When the production of automobiles is one, the production of electronics will be 28. So when the production of automobiles is one, production of electronics will be somewhere here 28. So, so likewise, I just consider these pairs as coordinates. I plot them here on this coordinate plane. And I connect once, once I finish plotting all the points, I can connect them smoothly so that I will have my PPC. And now I'll show you the output. When you do it properly, it will look like this. So this is the answer for the question. So this side we have taken for automobiles 
and the other side the other axis we have taken for what electronics electronics so this is the correct ppc for the question so i hope that you all understood this question really well and we will once again meet with another interesting question learn economics and business statistics with anuka eknath